Right guys, uh, Sunday sesh here, thought I'd do a little bit on my ute, uh, yeah, start pulling this engine bay apart, so I can start getting ready to do some of my engine bay fabrication, start smoothing the bay out, the plan is to drop where I had that sheeted down, down to this level, give that empty look, and tidy up a few things, weld a few holes up, start getting it ready to, uh, once I've got the motor ready, we can put it back in there then. I think for now I'll probably end up just painting it all satin black, uh, that way it's sort of, sort of finished and looks tidy, but it's, you know, I haven't really spent a lot of money on getting it to there, so we'll do that for now in case I make any changes or want to do anything later on, so yeah. I'll put on a bit of a time lapse and you can watch along and see what I'm doing.
basically how it looks stock um, yeah so I'll just grind these back a little bit you can see where I've that started rounding over a little bit I'll try and get that back to how it was, was originally so I'll take all this sheet metal out that's probably got a weld out around here somewhere so I'll try and sand that all back to where it was factory um, and yeah the idea will be I'll put a piece onto here come up fold it the same as that then curve it up weld along there yeah I think I'll blend it into this edge blend it into the edge rather than sitting it on top it'd be a lot easier to put it on top but don't know yet I'll see how I go I might even go on top but I like that nice neat fillet that's in there that's all metal I'd rather not have to bog it and fill it and sand it and all the rest of it probably cave this in a little bit there then I'll beat that in and yeah so the idea will be that'll be all blanked into there as you can see it sort of makes it look a lot more open compared to how I had it I had it up here sort of made it look like it was all full up here and there's nothing behind it I was going to put the the fuse box and stuff behind there but um, at the moment yeah I'm gonna go here just cut the hole in there for the intercooler pipe to go through on this side we cover that in and then whatever I need to notch out for the turbo and we'll notch out of it yeah, I'll probably go ahead and fill those two holes as well and yeah the only reason I think some of the wiring might actually no there was a big slot like that out of the middle from factory um, oh, it's a bit hard to see but there was a big plastic piece that sat in there and a wiring and stuff went through there so I sheeted all that in and um, yeah might weld these holes up maybe not too sure I wouldn't mind possibly a cover on there so if I do want to run wires and wiring I can sort of put it underneath the cover and yeah we'll see what happens this is the original block that not the original motor out of it but this is the original turbo 6 litre yeah, I've got a couple of split split bores in it I'm pretty sure a couple of old heads made for a good dummy motor so yeah that's how we're going with it so far tidier probably should have left all the grime on there stopping it from getting wrecked but all good all right guys I sort of haven't been prepared myself here a bit I sort of last minute thought just to hook in and get a little bit done on this need to go get some sheet metal so I can finish it off but other than that the engine bay is not getting a whole lot of work done to it it's only just these front sections are getting done all these holes rolled up in there just to stop dirt and grime and as much stuff coming in there once I do start driving this thing uh, yeah let me know what you think all right guys uh, as you can see I just decided to hook in and do a little bit here uh, I've run out of time or haven't run out of time I've run out of materials I forgot to get some materials so I'm at a bit of a standstill until I can get some of that and I'll start folding some of that up and Show you what I do there. Uh, but yeah, it probably took me about half an hour to an hour maybe to hook in and do this a little bit, including pulling the car apart. So if you've got a project out there, just hook in and start doing it. Uh, that's how I started doing it. And yeah, you'll see this turn into 
might not be a top summer nats car but it'll be a pretty tidy street car and that's what I want, I want to be able to get it looking pretty tidy and then just start taking it to as many events as I can and having some fun with it so, and hopefully you will obviously be on journey with me doing this so you get to see all the little bits and pieces of work that go into it Right, I'll do a little bit of a uh, taking the to quiet the amount of crap here. Uh, I'll share this shed so in 10 15 minutes, whack it all back together. It's all together. If I want to move the ute, I can move it out. So.
Alright guys, you can see how much more open it is in there now. By the time I go to put the sheet metal down there, it just opens it right up. Same with there, lots of room around the turbo on that now. So, exactly what I was after. Originally when I had that sheeted in, it was an A motor, there was nothing going to be either side. That was when I had my 7 litre LSX in here, the Holly High Rise, and sort of main focus was just in the middle. Now with the turbo, you got crap everywhere, so happy with the results so far. Let me know what you think, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments or whatever, be sure to leave them down in the comment section. And just remember, get busy, start building boys. Cheers guys.